The Southern separatists are those who would like to go back to the state of Yemen pre-1990 when it was two states and believe that this would put an end to their marginalization inside a united Yemen. So they're at odds, obviously, with the internationally recognized government of Yemen, which resides in Riyadh, which wants a united Yemen as it currently is in theory. And what is their relationship with the other protagonists in the current conflicts, the Houthis? Well, both the internationally recognized government in Riyadh and the southern separatists in Aden are anti-Houthi. They're part of the same coalition fighting the Houthis. So they do have that in common, and that's why they have not fallen out yet. But ultimately, the big underlying issues in Yemen have not been tackled. These are the issues that relate to the division of power, territory, and resources. And the South, or at least some protagonists within the South, now clearly think the time is right to start to bring that to the forefront of discussions. Well, the Houthis have support from the Iranians, allegedly. The internationally recognized government has support from the Saudis. How much support within Yemen do these southern separatists have within and outside of, of, the, of the region? It's difficult to tell how much support they have inside Yemen because they have a good public relations apparatus. But it's safe to say that they have, at least until now, been supported by the United Arab Emirates, who are, of course, part of the same coalition fighting the Houthis as Saudi Arabia. The government in Saudi Arabia has described it as an attempted coup. That is a pretty serious allegation to lob at them. It's a serious allegation, but one can understand why that accusation has been levied, because last week, the Southern Transition Council, the separatists in Aden, did say that unless President Hadi changed his government, which they consider to be corrupt, then they would try to overthrow it. So in that sense, it is attempted coup. Where does all of this leave Yemen, which has been in de facto civil war for the past few years? You've got a government in exile, you've got the Houthi rebels, you've got external actors involved. And now, in addition, you have these southern separatists. This does complicate matters further because it potentially opens up a new front in an already complicated civil war. And that can only mean the worsening of the already bad humanitarian situation. That doesn't just mean that people will be dying in Aden, but if the aid and humanitarian assistance can't get in through the port of Aden, then that will have knock-on effects to the already starving and subdued population in the north of Yemen. So that's one factor. A second factor is that if the coalition falls out, then that can only strengthen the Houthis' hand, which in turn allows more scope for Iran to intervene in the Yemen crisis. And then thirdly, if the coalition comes to blows amongst itself, then of course, that also gives an opportunity for terror groups inside Yemen, al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula, and to a lesser extent, Islamic State in Yemen, to seize on that opportunity to take advantage of the chaos and a fragile security state.